how many times. Okay, the first thing that I want that you do after you install MSJ is that you try to play with this. So you go there and try to play with the left click, and try to play with the right click, but try to do double click and that that click here, you know. If you have never have used MSJ because they do slightly different things. Yeah? So for example, with the right click here, uh, while with the left click you will choose a line. Yeah, with the with the right click you can make sure if it's a straight line, you can make a segmented line, you can make a free hand line, you can make an arrow tool. So I just just try and maybe in your computer work a little bit different. So just just make sure that you know that there are different ways to do this. Um, if you press double click, for example, the line, it will it will show you how thick the line will be. So if you can change here the number, or you can just move it to the right, and you can make the thickness of the line different. But yeah, so when you press left click, right click, double click, here they will show you even more. They will give you even more options. Here you have so many menus and so many options so many things to do so we're not going to focus on all of them but here uh, they, they just give you a lot of information here if you have a doubt of a menu or something that you need to look if you type here for example brightness so they will show you where where is the how to go to the brightness or if you have any doubt they will solve it here for example they will tell you what is if you see they will tell you uh, exactly what is that tool doing yeah so for example here you see this is a stray segment when you mm, when you click on this in the left click and there are so many things to tell you but just one that you go and try to play with it a little bit and 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 then watch also watch the video tutorial and, and you can learn uh, very simple things and later we will start doing more complicated stuff in the main menu you will have uh, this menu that is called here you have the image that you will use process at least in the beginning this one you are not going to use it a lot uh, analyze you're going to use it to do some of the measurements, to to set the scale, plugins. At least in the beginning, you're not going to use it. Yeah, um, help. Yeah, it, it might be in case that you have any questions, the user guide. There's there a lot of information. So let's go and let me walk you through some of the simple things that you will see in image so uh, as i said before plugins can be very useful at least in the beginning we are not going to use it the image menu you will use it a lot has a lot of things for example uh, here you have the brightness and the contrast that it could be very useful for when you if you don't see very clear things you can uh, split channels and I'll explain that in a second and you can add a slice or del delete a slice that we might use this later if we accidentally duplicate some of the slides I will show you in your movie I will show you how to fix it and, and this could be very helpful so for example I know you have here about RGB color this will turn your movie from a uh, if you have RGB in your image, it means that you will be able to see red, green, and blue. Yeah, so you will have a multicolor image. So red, green, and blue. And if not, if you have an 8-bit, is when you have a, a binary image. It's only in image that you will only have uh, maybe red and black or white and black, only two colors. So if you want to make something multicolor, you have to go to type and turn it into an RGB. 
and there are so many things here so for example if you want to rotate the picture here this is the software if you if you want to crop some of the movie and there are so many things that uh, maybe later if you want you can explore and ask me questions um as i said before the um, process menu you are not going to use it in the beginning but it uh, later uh, if you get interested in this topic uh, we generally use it to uh, to process images and that later we can to produce automatic measurements analyze you're going to use a lot of things in the analyze for example this one that you would see in the video tutorial this set measurement it's very useful uh, with this one you will see you can measure the area simultaneously you can measure the circularity you can measure this uh, and i will explain that later for example uh, the brightness this one are for the brightness so you can measure the perimeter so only as i will talk later i will show you in the video tutorial if you this analyze particle in sometimes is very useful but it helps it to do more automatic stuff and here this is important later in the video tutorial you will see uh, always you have to go to here when you start analyzing your movies with your scale bar so uh, you calibrate your image to the right so you turn it goes from pixels to microns and if you forget that as i said multiple in the video tutorials there is no problem if just you do a simple division and you can correct it and turn the pixels again into micro so remember measure set measurement set scale some of the tools that you're going to use and as just to finish here you have the help menu and here you can go to the image website you can go to the documentation you can here you can look into the different plugins macros and a lot of functions and here you can update your image you can start playing with image and if you have any questions just let me know